Hi, I'm Councilwoman Charlene Bybee from Ward 4 here in the beautiful city of Sparks on a beautiful springtime morning. I uh, wanted to talk today about COVID vaccines. Uh, we just recently opened the whole state to everyone 16 and older being able to get a vaccine. And so it's an important topic that a lot of our community is interested in. And we recently held a community conversation and we're really lucky to have great panelists. We had uh, Dr. Travis Anderson from here at Northern Nevada Medical Center was our guest presenting medical information on the vaccine itself, on his experience with COVID-19 and with the patients and families that he's worked with throughout this pandemic and, and just really answered a lot of questions. This entire uh, community conversation is on Facebook Live in, in its entirety, but let me share a few thoughts from Dr. Anderson. What I'd really like to say is these vaccines aren't brand new. The technology, the mRNA technology specifically, has been developed and tested for over 20 years now and has been very safe and it's actually designed for this moment. Um, this vaccine was catered in the genome, was uh, processed for uh, COVID in the first months of uh, COVID-19, you know, well over a year ago. The mRNA is designed for this exact case where if we have a pandemic and we need a vaccine that rolls out quickly, we need to have the vehicle to do so very quickly. And that's what this was. So that it's been tested for over 20 years. The only difference is, is that we design the antigen uh, recognition part of that and insert it into the vaccine, which is a very simple and safe process, tested rigorously before it got out to the general public and then tested in tens of thousands of people prior to actually bring it to the general population. So it is very safe. Again, think of it as a car and just each time you get in the car, it's got a different color paint on it. And that's what this is designed for. The car has always worked. We know it's safe, but now we have a different disease. So we change the color. Um, and don't use any active parts of, of the virus. It's just a, a replicant of uh, a spike protein or just kind of a signature for that. So, so our body gets uh, recognition of that and develops that immune response. I personally would administer it to anyone in my family, um, any loved ones, and would highly recommend it for anybody uh, in the community. And I was a huge skeptic at the beginning when these were developed, and I was fortunate enough to speak with um, some of the developers from Pfizer and Moderna that have been working in this industry 20 or 30 years um, that have been develop developing them for SARS and MERS and Ebola in the past and, and could speak to the actual technology and, and the safety profiles used. So I feel very confident in that. I've heard a lot of people say that, hey, I've had COVID in the past, so I don't need the vaccination at this point. Is that true or false? Should people who have had COVID in the past still get the vaccine? So they absolutely should. There are few cases, but are documented cases of getting reinfected. We do not know um, what the infectivity, so even with the vaccine, but more so if you've had it in the past, or whether you can transmit it to others, whether you get it again or not. The difference between COVID-19 and, and the vaccines is COVID-19 creates a really significant immune response initially, but not the memory re immune response as we would like it to do um, with other viruses that we've seen in the past. But with the vaccine, the immune response and the memory response is much, much more robust. So there's a much higher chance that you develop a true long-term immunity. So we hope that this will help you uh, with your decision on whether you want to get a vaccine or not, and the resources to be able to do that. There are a lot of different locations, Washoe County Health District. So you can go on to uh, COVID19WashoeVaccine.com uh, to schedule there. But they're scheduling at pharmacies, uh, hospitals, like here at Northern Nevada Medical Center, Renown, Community Health Alliance, uh, lots of different options. Thank you for joining me, and we look forward to opening our community. And the key to getting through this pandemic is we want everything to be open, we want to get our lives back, and this is just one step to allow us to do that as a community. Thank you so much.